Hello everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to discuss about the module 3, which is the personalizing list and card page, adding fields and modifying documents, and enhancing the user interface with personalized settings. So in the previous video, we have discussed about these two topics and also the module 1. I have already covered module 2 and module 1. If you missed it, please go and watch it. And here today, let us start with personalizing list and card pages. So in the previous video, we have discussed what is a list page and what is a card page. If you have missed it, please go and watch. So list and card pages can be personalized as we personalize the role center page. Okay. In general, you will have the same possibility and it works in the same way as you did it in the role center page. So you can adjust the column width. You can adjust the column height likewise. So let me just go to the customer okay I, i'm just going to the customer list page okay you can see here this is the customer list page and now i'm just opening the personalize option you can go to the settings and click on the personalize option so it will open the personalization so you can see that there is an option which is coming up where i can i'm just adjusting the width of the list okay again i'm telling this personalization will affect only in your view in your screen okay it will not affect any others okay so you can change it like this okay you can personalize the navigation menu okay you can hide it as i told before you can if you don't want this again you can just click here and hide it if you want it you can just make it available okay and you can even uh, in any any drop down okay if you want if in in the drop down if you don't want any specific thing you can just uh, uh, make it and also the thing which you have here okay these are okay like process new document so these options these actions are specific to this customer page customer list page okay even if you wanted to do some changes here, you can also do that. Okay. For example, if you click on this document and if you are click selecting this, okay, you, you can move and hide it. Okay. And you have a customer document. So even in this customer document, if you don't want to see the comments, okay, if you want to move it, if you want to hide it, you can do it. Okay. I'm just uh, hiding the contact details okay this is only visible so this online map is already hidden if you want to do enable it you can enable it okay but here i think it is not viewable for uh, us to it is not allowed for us okay so when available you can also hide or show the actions this means that you can switch between hide and show without clearing the personalization okay now even you can move this okay if you wanted to move this particular uh, name to after the contact okay then it will be changed okay so you can move or hide the column you can also move the position you can change the position of the column this is regarding the list page okay this is what we call it as a list it will show you the consolidated um, data of the customer or anything now let us go to the card page okay if you click on the card it will take you to the card page okay so if you want to press done you can press it it is taking me to the card page still it is in the personalization mode so you can see here that um, um, red color rectangle is available here for you always so here this if you click here it will show you like move or remove or show under show more or show always exclude from a quick entry okay so if you uh, click show always then it is fine or else if you wanted to make it a show under show more then only if you click show more it will be available or if you want to move this just click here and move it under or here okay i'm trying to move it here okay so your name will be sent there and which will be here it is okay your name got it so we are try we have tried to change the name field you can try any other field okay and any even pictures anything you can try this okay this is what how to personalize the personalize the um, uh, list and card page okay now let us go back to the uh, uh, document page i have also shown you how, what is a document page and how to do that okay so you can also do the changes in the document page so i'm just taking sales order document <coughs> 
so this is a document page okay so even in the document page you can do all these personalizations okay it is opening let us wait for that so you can add a field you can even add a field to that okay this is a documentation page and i think still we are in the personalization okay so here you can see it is there okay so here you can see if you wanted to add a field if you click here to add the field you can see that these fields are not added <coughs> okay bad registration number is not added so you can click here and add it here okay if you want to add the field which is available in your table so ensure that this this fields are available in the table but they have not listed in the page okay that is basically possible right so if you wanted to add it then you can um, make it possible here okay and if you wanted to remove this okay i just wanted to remove this vat date so you can click here and click remove where you can see that the vat date will be removed from your document page okay and you can add it later if you want okay so now the vat date is removed fine so again if you wanted to add so for example if you wanted to add something here so you can just click keep click on the field where you can see what are the various see this is an individual uh, separate table which is uh, which is listed down here okay which is added here so for this specific page you have lot and lot of data which you, if you wanted to add you can add it you can scroll down here you have a different set of data so vat date which we have removed right we have removed previously which is available here you can see the vat date is available here okay so this is how you can add and remove the various fields data and you can also do this in your uh, uh, card page as well okay for example we can go to the go back to the card page if you want okay i'm going back to the card page even in the card page even in the list page you can see the field add field so here these uh, these fields are, are not added in the list you can see that these fields are not available here so if you wanted to see the um, sales person code then just move and copy here okay let me just okay this should be okay this is a different one no, no. okay this will show you the sales person code okay you can see the sales person code here if you want to remove it it's very simple just go back here and click remove which will be temporarily removed from your list but it will be there in the table okay don't think that you are deleting it you are just removing it from your table okay this is how you can personalize the list page and the card page as well and the document page okay enhancing the user interface with a personalized setting so why is, why should you choose this why should you want to personalize your user interface in the sense in order to optimize your personal use okay so what do you want to see and what you don't want to see if anything required you can add it if you don't want you can remove it you got it so we have uh, covered all these personalization topics so these topics are also in the mb800 okay if you want to go and check please check that it will be uh, it is one of the uh, module in the mb800 okay so i have structured this curriculum based on all these uh, that is based on mb800 only and next video we will start the module 4 like use alternate interface for dynamics 365 okay though i cannot show you the tablets i can try to i will try to show you with the smartphones okay and how you can use the outlook interface for the business handle integration and sharing business data through microsoft teams as well yes if you have any queries please leave your comments i will definitely help you out and i'll be updating the um, exercises in my page so please keep watching that in my blog okay so please keep watching that thank you take care and bye bye